This is a 9-sus-4 chord. It's very common in the world of video game and anime music for its unique sound and versatility, but what is it, and how do we use one? Let's find out! I first discovered this chord while transcribing a J-pop song. Due to my lack of music theory knowledge at the time, I uh, was thoroughly confused and decided I'd probably never see it again and carried on. Little did I know that as I continued to transcribe, I would see this chord come up again and again. So what does 9sus4 really mean? It's a big chord name and it has five notes. The one, four, five, flat seven, and nine. If that's all foreign to you, you should go learn how chords are built and then get back to this. Starlight Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog features a G9 sus4 chord. So if we were to spell out that chord, we would have G, C, D, F, and A. If this is starting to go way over your head, don't worry. It's about to get a lot easier. Oftentimes with big chords like this, they can begin to sound a little cluttered, and it's common to go ahead and remove the less important notes to avoid that problem. With the 9sus4 chord and many other chords like it, the 5th can be safely removed without changing the function of the chord. An interesting thing happens when we do this. If you look at the upper three notes of the chord, you might notice that they form an F major triad. Essentially, G9sus4 is really just F over G. Suddenly, this becomes much easier to comprehend. If you were to leave the fifth in there, you'll occasionally see it notated as D minor 7 over G, but F over G is by far the most common way to notate this kind of chord. So how does this chord function? Is it an F chord, or is it a G chord? Is it a kid or a squid? Well, a uh, 9 sus 4 chord is just a dominant ninth chord that's had the third moved up a semitone to the fourth. Um, that removes the tritone from the chord, that dissonance between the third and seventh degrees. It removes a lot of that tension, which gives the chord a very smooth sound. By a very wide margin, uh, you are most likely to see this chord on the fifth degree of the major scale. Uh, that's the most likely place that you're going to run into it. So, how does it function? Well, any sus4 chord or variant of it on the fifth scale degree functions as a predominant. What this means is it's one of the many types of chords that functions to pull your ear towards the dominant chord of the key, in preparation for a cadence, usually. So it's not so uncommon to see a G9 sus4 chord followed by a G7 or just a simple G major chord before heading back to C or in whatever direction it's going from there. What I find interesting is that the 9 sus4 can usually stand on its own uh, without needing to proceed to the dominant chord. The fact that the 9 sus4 has a complete major triad in it really helps to stabilize it. Just like in Starlight Zone at the beginning of this video, uh, the G9 sus4, or the F over G chord, uh, resolved straight to C in a 5 to 1 cadence. The 5 is not the only place that you will find this chord. Um, it also shows up in a lot of out of key situations, and a lot of them involve treating the chord as though it's an add 9 chord in third inversion. So, say we were to take an F add 9 chord, that's F, A, C, and G and put the ninth on the bass. That's kind of the way people treat this chord when it's used in out-of-key uh, situations a lot of the time. One of my favorite composers, Tom Hack, uh, uses this technique very, very often in his music. Uh, if you check out Cheer, Tear, Cheer from Sword Art Online, or Perfect Hero from Diamond No Ace, uh, or Go Exceed as well um, from Diamond No Ace, uh, he uses this technique very often in his music. You'll also find it on the one pretty often. Um, it's acting a lot like a, a flat seven chord. So say we're in the key of F um, and you come across an E flat over F chord. Yes, it's an F9 sus4, but it doesn't really function as a dominant chord on the one. It functions more like a flat seven because that's what it sounds like. Um, 
it's just an interesting way of adding a different sound to um, to these kinds of chords. And so it's really something you can just play around with a lot and you can get a lot of really interesting sounds out of it. So that is the nine sus four chord. It's one of my favorite chords ever. I love the way it sounds and there's so much you can do with it. There are a couple really neat alterations that you can do that can really put a different spin on this chord. I'll leave you guys to do your own research and see what you can come up with. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments or email me at ongakuconcept at gmail.com. Also, I now have a Facebook group for Ongaku Concept. If you go to facebook.com slash groups slash Ongaku Concept VGM, there's a Facebook group there and we talk about video games and music and music theory. I'll be posting some stuff related to this video today on the group. Uh, so if you want to head over there and join and join in the discussion, that would be really awesome. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.